Welcome to my single player Let's Play World, episode 1. This Let's Play is going to be kind of like a world tour style. A lot of cuts and pretty much big progress between each video. And let me step into my world. So, this is probably the very first big project of mine. And pretty much what this is, is this is a slime trap. And right now I'm playing on normal. And there are no slimes in here because all the caves are still dark, so the chance of a slime spawning in here is quite low right now because of all the other mobs taking up all the slime spawning spots, but you might be wondering why I'm making a slime farm as the very first thing. Well, that's because I'm planning on using this to get a lot of slime balls, AFK slime balls, and I would also like to have an option to pretty much just collect these and pretty much... I want to to break down the slimes from big slimes to small slimes to into small slimes waiting for me to get killed. Um, because that can actually be a decent source of XP for the start. And also I'll get the slime balls which I need to use for sticky pistons and as you can see I've pretty much made the room. Um, this is going to be grass once I get a silk touch pick. Um, I did a couple level 30s. I only got... I got two efficiency four on breaking threes, uh, an efficiency four, uh, or an efficiency three on breaking three, and a couple on breaking three picks, so I didn't really get anything special on no fortune or, or any of that yet, and this broom is pretty much, pretty much, I just said pretty much twice in a row, but pretty much the goal, three times now, but, uh, I want to make this, um, a very humongous scale project. World. I want to make all my projects just very big scale, um, and I want to do everything, make it look good, and make it work well, which is not a not an easy task. And I think I'm off to a good start. And this is a chest of everything I found while I was making making this build. I found a stack of nine obsidian plus these two, um, thirteen diamonds, only two gold, which is actually pretty surprising. Um, Twenty six iron. And a whole bunch of lapis and redstone. And some coal and stuff. But yeah, it's, it's been a pretty good project actually. It's helped me get a lot of resources and a lot of cobblestone for my future above ground builds. But I always like to start below ground because if you start below ground, you'll start with a lot of resources because that's where you go to find resources below ground. And I might also show you my mine shafts and pretty much all my all my all my riches. So there's quite a bit of stuff in my inventory as you can see. Um, I've been playing on this world for three or four days now. I think this is gonna be a pretty permanent world. I might kind of step back from it a bit um, sometimes. I'll probably always come back to this. Um, this is my mine shaft. This is highly inspired by Ethan though and it looks like this place burned down again. I'm having this problem where um, there's some lava below here as you can see and it's just burning everything down, and I can't stop it. It's burned down three or four times, this, this thing, and no matter what I do, the fire just keeps spreading up through through, through all these blocks, which I really don't understand how. Um, I have that water there, because I think it could have helped, but I guess it's not doing its job. But this is like a quarter stack of, of logs every time it burns down, and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> oh, well, let's fix it back up. It's not a big deal. Alright, so you might also wonder what, what, might be wondering what seed am I using? Um, this seed is the zip crowd server seed, which is, if you're, if you if you're probably, if you're probably not aware of it, but this is JL2579 server seed. And why I chose this seed, um, is because. This seed is very amazing. There's a quad witch hut with the stronghold right underneath it. And there's this amazing mountain biome up here. And I'll, I'll quickly quickly take, take a nap and make a day, and then I'll show you guys outside. And after this, I'll probably tell you what I plan to do with the slime farm. So if you know, slimes will climb ladders. And if you've ever seen a slime, they're always bouncing like this. And that's because pretty much their AI is always holding down the space bar. So if you put ladders, I'll climb up the ladders, and then I plan on filtering out the big slimes by size, of course. Um, I don't, I'm not sure, I think I'll, I'll make the big slimes just make it to the end, but I'll start by filtering out small slimes, because they're less than a block. And pretty much how that's going to work is the small slimes are going to 
fall through a gap that only they can fit through. While the big and medium slimes will just be carried through, and then the small slimes will pretty much um, fall into a little water stream and be delivered, and then the big slimes will be dropped, and then they'll, they'll be made into medium slimes, and then those will be elevated back up, and they'll be dropped, and etc. Until everything's a small slime waiting for me in the same spot, ready to be killed. And that's pretty much my plan. And, and as you can see, if we take a look outside, this place is a pretty epic mountain. I planted the trees because I like I like how trees look. Um, I'm still still need saplings to plant trees over there. And there's a Mario block up there, which is pretty cool. So yeah, th this is my this is my world. Or this is a crowd server world. Same same seed, but I have pretty big plans for it. Um, progress won't be very fast because I'm just one guy building building projects here. So yeah, so. I'll be right back after I work a little bit more on the slime farm, and I'll show you guys my progress to the, to this world. And as you can see, I've been kind of getting off, off task and messing around um, with this landscape, and I think it is looking beautiful. Um, I think it'd probably be a le bit a little bit tipping over my own words a little bit better if it weren't for this like lag, as you can see. Like I can't really get if I press F7 here, or is it F8? Yeah, it's not really like a nice panoramic smooth FPS. So. Yeah, but still pretty nice view around here. Um, so yeah, let's go take a look at the slime farm. I've done a lot of work down there. I think it's gonna be a pretty, at least it's gonna look good. Um, I'm still not so sure about function. Um, I've done a lot of things in the past with anesthetics and and looks and stuff, but I haven't done too much with technical. Um, the most I've done is some efficient mob traps um, that use water streams, and that's pretty much all I've really messed up with for Minecraft technicals, and that doesn't include FTB, and FTB I'm pretty good at using pipes and logic and stuff, but in vanilla I'm not so sure. So yeah, let's take a look in here. So this is how it's looking so far, nice wide open room, um, looking pretty good. I'm still missing some of the pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns I need. Um, to finish the lighting. I know the glowstone is, um, it's kind of like considered an air block, so slimes can't spawn on it. It's kind of like, it's, it's like a little obstacle that slimes can't sp spawn on, so I placed as little glowstone as I possibly could, because torches do the same thing as glowstone, because you get the kind of half block extra if you place a torch, like, for example, if you have a chunk, um, a slime chunk, this is a slime chunk in this world. I use a slime finder called Amidst, it's a pretty cool program, you can go check it out. Um, pretty much, if you put torches on the entire thing, the only place the slime can spawn is on this very edge, which we don't like. And pretty much glowstone does the same thing, except it takes up the whole block. But I'd rather use it, because it, cause it looks better, if you know what I mean. And pretty much nothing can spawn in it. But um, slimes, slimes, unlike most mobs, can spawn in any light level. And, uh, so, I, I just don't want hostile mobs getting in here, which is why I do have to light it up. As you can see, it says block like, block, block light 7 here, and I, if you know, um, the block light is sh displayed by BL, right next to where it says the biome, which says extreme hills, um, and pretty much that's, that's at your head level, the block light. So, if you pop down one block, now the block light is 8, and mobs, hostile mobs spawn uh, 7 or below. So, pretty much, it's completely spawn proof, this room. Um, I think, hopefully, it is. And yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been up to for the past little bit of time. I've just been um, kind of working on the slime farm and trying to get the pumpkins I need to finish it. And I know this is pretty dark this room, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some skylights for it so I can get rid of the void fog and then also get off to find sooner or later once that comes out for Minecraft 1.5 as you can see we're playing in and it's going to let and uh, yeah so I'll probably make a little cut here and I'll be back um, after I've made some skylights and perhaps I've worked a little bit more on the automatic killing system and XP system, so yeah, it's the end of it. And then all of a sudden I realized I forgot to explain the entire point of 
it's escaping via channel that goes down to bedrock level here. And pretty much what this is, is this is gonna be... If you, if you don't know how slime mechanics work, pretty much they spawn, and if there are no players in the area, they'll just hop endlessly in one direction, like... In fact, I hear a slime right now, I'm not sure. I know there's a slime chunk diagonal to one of these slime chunks, because I was looking at the slime finder, and it pretty much displays all the slime chunks, so... Um, I just heard a slime, but pretty much what they do is if, they, if there's no player for them to track, they'll spawn in a random direction, and they'll hop in that direction until they hit something, and... So that's why they all end up in this channel somewhere. In fact, if you just made a square, they'd all end up in the corners. Which is pretty cool, because even if they hit at a slight angle, as you can see, they'll be moving just a bit, and eventually they'll go to the corner. But most of them will be at, like, this angle, say, and they'll be delivered pretty quick, so. In fact, you could just have a plain box with killing chambers at the corners, and that would work too, but I want to do this because it's a little more fancy, and it's going to take a little longer and be a little bit more fun. So, yeah, so pretty much the channels on the side, I'm going to put water streams in. Uh, continuous ones, I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. And those are just gonna help me deliver my slimes. I just forgot to mention what I was trying to do. And I need slime balls because it's fun. And look, I've gone ahead and installed Optifine, and yep, it's working great. Um, my FPS is a lot higher. I do get a tiny little lag spike every now and then, like just when I started my recording. But otherwise, it's really great. I can turn off fog now. And I've started working around back here for, for a nice viewing area. And I've, <coughs> I've slime spawned already and I haven't even lit up any caves. Which is really good, so. Uh, yeah. So now we're going to start to work on the very fun part. And before I do that, let me just show you my resources I got in total now. I think this is about how much I'm going to find. I found a stack and three iron, 15 gold, 19 diamonds. Nine emeralds, I believe. Something here. Nope. Um, ten emeralds. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, t two and a half stacks of lupus, a lot of redstone, and a lot of obsidian. So, this was actually a really nice project to do. It kind of boosted me in my diamonds. Like, nineteen diamonds. That's actually all the diamonds I have right now. But in these two mine shafts, actually over here, there. Oh, not that one. This one. As you can see, it's pretty long, and same with this one. Um, I've actually found three veins of diamonds in each one of them. Um, I just can't grab them because, uh, because uh, they, they, I, I don't want to use fortune on them, and and fortune, like, it, it just helps you get so many more diamonds per um, per per orb. Um, I'm kind of unwilling to to just mine them when I know they're there instead of use fortune on them and I've enchanted like six or seven picks so far and I haven't even gotten fortune two which is kind of unfortunate but all these work picks have been helping me out these efficiency four and breaking three and the efficiency three and breaking three so all right so what we're gonna work on now as I said before is gonna be the water streams so pretty much how we um, um deliver <coughs> the slimes to to one point you're going to need quite a bit of signs, so let's go ahead and make some signs. Even though you get three, they're still quite expensive um, to get some signs. And, alright, so, this is all pretty, pretty, pretty well-known stuff, like this, this infinite spring. Pretty standard design I'm using here. You can actually do a lot of other shapes of infinite spring, like a uh, 1 by 3 an L shape. <coughs> and, yeah. So, sorry my throat's getting a little bit raspy, it's like morning voice, it's just... I just woke up. Ah, I just got a drink of water there. Hopefully that helps a bit. <clears throat> Alright. So, this is the center point. So, no slime. Mobs just make me nervous, man. <laughs> I'm really scared of death. Because so far I've only actually died once, which was in the nether. I was knocked off from by a blaze from a high place after I had taken some f fire damage, so... Yeah, that's the only time I've died. And so far, I've been super unlucky. I haven't got a single blaze rod, actually. And let's make this look better. Let's, let's do it like that. Alright. So let's put these 
water buckets down. Um, I don't think I need to... How, how should I place a water block here? Because you can't just do that, I don't think. I think if I aim on the side... Nope. That just eats up the water bucket. Alright, so... This works. Like, there is this one space, but small slimes actually won't get stuck in this because they'll be jumping, right? And if they'd be jumping, then they'll be moving and they'll fall into this water stream. But this is still water, which I really don't like. Um, so. Let's see, how can I fix that? Um, I haven't thought of a design, I haven't gotten creative or any of that kind of stuff. I'm just doing this based on whatever, you know. Um, I'm on bedrock, so I really have to bring the water streams up. I can't bring them down. I can't do like a little ditch and then a half slab and all that to make the water streams continuous. I know about that, but I'm sorry, I can't really do it. Uh, Alright, so this does make one block of still water. But as you know, the slime's hopping like that. They eventually move themselves to one side. And here's where the problem comes along. Um, but usually what you do here is you'll dig this out and the water will flow down. But the problem is I'm on bedrock level and I, I really didn't think of this while I was making this. So I have to think of an alternative way to make a continuous water stream. And that's what I think this might work, but this is going to get pretty messy very quickly. Um, Alright, so this is how I think I'm going to place this. One <clears throat> and as you can see, this is starting to become kind of continuous. Uh, I think no, it's not, not the right place. We'll put that there, put that there, and put that there. And let's go grab some more water. So, alright, eventually you'll see what I'm doing. This is kind of the fun, exciting part of of digging out this, this hole. This took um, two and a half on breaking three picks. Uh, that's the same as uh, eight regular diamond picks, or um, how many iron picks? I don't even know how many iron picks. Probably like fifty or something ridiculous like that. So all right, that water is glitchy. <laughs> so this should work, I think. Oh, I'm starting to get a little bit of lag spikes uh, when I'm not recording. Or watching the video because I like to watch videos as I work on these projects. Um, that makes makes tedious things more interesting if you go and watch a video or something. And hopefully the small slimes don't drown in this. But <clears throat> I don't know. I, I I don't think they can hop out of water slimes, so I don't think they can escape this trap either. So yeah, that's that's good. Another reason why. You might be wondering why the hell am I even making the slime trap? Uh, I want to use a lot of sticky pieces. As I said before, this is a new day, so sorry if I sound like I'm repeating myself. I probably am, but uh, like this is uh, the uh, episode I started early yesterday. Uh, now it's um, tomorrow, so yeah. And so solely the reason is because sticky pieces are fun. You can do a lot of things, and I plan on making this very cool storage room, like um. I'm planning on having it sort out basic items and then dump the rest in a whole bunch of chests. So like, dirt would be a basic item, iron, um, all the mob drops, all those I want to be sorted out. Because those are pretty much things you get stuck in your inventory all the time. Seeds, flowers, all those things. I want to just be able to dump in a chest, a hopper will suck them all out, and they will put them <coughs> in their respective chests. I won't have to deal with sorting through things like seeds, um, what's another really annoying thing, uh, mob drops, like spider eyes, and all those things, I, I want, I don't want anything to do with them. So, yeah. So, one thing I need to work around is I need to find a way to, to not use this little stupid path here. And, I'm gonna make a maintenance shoot like this, and eventually I'm gonna decorate this place up, but for now I'll just put two signs to kind of prevent... Oh shoot, that's that's the you know, water stream, so let's block that off with a nice stone brick. And mine signs. So this is how I kind of found a lot of the iron I have. It's just from, from when I work on these projects, I, I do a lot of digging. 
and the digging ends up with me finding these. Now, eventually, I'll move that water stream to temporarily. Ah, uh, this is getting kind of annoying. I'm just trying to find my way up. I know you can access a water stream from below, but I don't want to do that. All right. Let's grab us some water. I think we might need some more signs, so let's go ahead and make us more signs. <laughs> Wood, I, I did spend two or three hours harvesting a whole bunch of last night, so hopefully I won't run out of wood. Ooh, let's grab those sticks. So, alright. This pattern, it's pretty easy to do. You can probably see what I'm doing just based on... Um, like just based on you can just based on visuals. Uh, so yeah, you guys can go home and do this if you want and make a slime farm. Um, especially if you're kind of running out of things to do in your world, like some people, after they build a house, get some diamonds, make a spawner trap, they, they quit their worlds. And I really don't like it when people do that because there's so many more things you can do. Make an Enderman farm. Make a. Uh, <clears throat> make a slime farm instead of just go to a go to a swamp you can um, automate a lot of things like uh, you can make an automated sugarcane farm trading machine and iron golem farms and all sorts of piston contraptions automatic sorting to save you time and even though you probably can spend way more time working on these things than you're ever going to use them it's just so fun to have them, and working on them is actually the fun part, not using them. When you're starting to use your your things like um, uh, enemy farms and all that kind of stuff, that's when the game starts to wear down. So I'm kind of saying that. <coughs> exploit, exploit Minecraft in every way you possibly can before you say I'm done with this world. That's kind of what JL server did. They had absolutely everything. They had an insane amount, but they, they kind of wanted to restart and make things a lot better than they could have with the new hoppers. And their new world is already super cool. Their Enderman farm is pretty extreme. It's called the Zip Crowd server now. It's still called JL server, but <clears throat> pretty much um, after after two days, they have an, an, a dual blade Enderman farm. So, you know, usually for an Enderman farm, if you even know what I'm talking about, is you'll have um, pretty much Enderman um, spawning in a in a, like some piston things and the pistons will push them when they spawn. But usually you only have one. Um, JL made a merger, so he merged pretty much four rows of spawning into one into two rows of spawning. So pretty much it's twice as efficient. Plus. Um, it's super tall. It, it goes all the way up to pretty much um, Y128 because if you go above that, apparently spawning efficiency go down, goes down. But yeah, so <clears throat> and they also have automatic Ender Pearl collection because um, you know it's you know how annoying it is to get Ender Pearl stuck in your inventory. If you uh, my voice is getting all raspy again, I'm sorry. <clears throat> ah, yeah, so. Sorry about that. I've been talking for a while and I haven't really gotten too many drinks of water, just a glass so far this morning. Yeah, that's, that's annoying. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's use that. Let's see if I can find some more food. Cause I'm, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Alright, I might. Ooh, look at Enderman talk. Speaking of Enderman. Okay, let's see if I die. Uh, <coughs> yes! Ender Pearl. There was a little bit of a lag spike as he died, but that's awesome. Two Ender Pearls now. Now I just need another 12 or another 10 to activate the Ender Portal. I need six Blaze Rods. Oh, I hate getting Blaze Rods. Um, I know exactly where the stronghold is, so no need to to waste ender ender eyes trying to find the stronghold. But uh, I need ender eyes to activate the portal. 
I also kind of really want to get the mossy stone bricks, the cracked stone bricks, and all those guys. So those guys look really cool. Alright. I'm getting good at placing sirens. Alright. Let's get the sword out of my bar. Um, if I could only have two tools in Minecraft, it would be a pick and a sword, but... Uh, in this project, it's a shovel. I don't know why. Why do I have a shovel on my bar? Um, I don't think I'll be running into any mobs. I made a, I did a very capable job of letting this place off. The only thing I should ever run into is a slime. But, <coughs> if you don't know how Minecraft mob spawning works, how it works is, um, pretty much, you need to be at least 25 blocks away, like 24 plus away from, from where a mob can spawn, for a mob to spawn. Um, because if they could spawn right next to you, that would be kind of scary. Like, it, it wouldn't make caving really possible. I mean, you'd just get, you'd kill a monster and one would spawn behind you before you had a chance to light the cave up. So instead, they spawn 24 blocks away from you. In every direction, so in whatever direction you happen to go, there's just a mob there waiting for you. Pretty much that's how spawning works. But if you go more into depth, you get the... Things about air blocks, mobs, pay attention. Um, you need an air block for a mob to spawn, then Minecraft will pick an air block, then near that air block, Minecraft will, will spawn something. Um, like, what I mean is, uh, pretty much when Minecraft picks an air block for something to spawn, it can be a bright air block or anything like that. But then it will find a suitable spot for a mob to spawn, and it will find the closest suitable spot for a mob to spawn, pretty much. And usually, um, they try and spawn a mob within just, like, one or two blocks from the air block the, mine, the game picks. So, a lot of farm designers that I've seen, like Enderman farm designs, have little or no air blocks in the spawning cells, which is very bad actually because then you're you're deducting spawning spaces like crazy because you're getting Minecraft doesn't like to pick an air block far from far from its uh, air block it picks so yeah I see a lot of people making that mistake all right so I think that's about the same place as the other one so hope this works I can always move this it's not permanent it's not like it's not hard to remove like the new one. Things are really hard to remove the new one. You know, I have, I have like a old house and you have to do a lot of renovation. So perfect. This leads into here. There are two still water, which I hate. Um, I hate still water. I don't know how to fix them. If I dig this down, the still water will stop. Okay, so I have no clue why it's doing that, but I guess I'm going to have to deal with it. The problem is the small slimes might get stuck in it, um, which isn't good, but I would imagine once they get here, they would all be pressed against here and they wouldn't be able to do anything about it, so they'd just end up there anyway. Um, the big slimes, like if I stand between these two water blocks, I'm still getting pushed this way. And same with big slimes, I'll be taking up all the medium slimes that I imagine will all be squeezed up against this wall too, so hopefully this is okay. And now all I have to do is work on the ladder system, and I'll be right back. And I'll show you guys how I'm going to sort the slimes in a second. Looks like. And let's see if this works, and it doesn't look like it works. No. I don't want to kill this guy, because I really want to do some testing with him. I want to see how I can make him climb up, so I can't kill him, so yeah. no. No. Come on, come on. I can't place that last ladder. I can't get close to him, he's gonna kill me, he's gonna kill me. Let's see if I can use these guys. 
these guys do. Come on, can't you guys climb this ladder? I thought slime could climb ladders. Am I mistaken or something? Can slimes not climb ladders? I'm sure at one point in the game they could. Or is it because of the water? They can't climb. Yes, it's because of the water the slimes cannot climb. So I know the water will make the, the slimes automatically face. Oh, this is where I wish I could switch myself to creative mode, just, just so I could do some testing. So if I if I make a row of slimes, let's say back here, I'm assuming all of the slimes will be facing um, this direction because of the water streams directly. So now I'll go climb, right? Oh, it doesn't. Why isn't the water going away? <laughs> Minecraft, I'll, I'll never get this game. I think that was just a glitch. Shoot. Alright, alright. Yeah, so now they seem to be able to climb. And boom. Haha. <laughs> so this is looking good. So I've already worked out how I want to do this, um <laughs> this is really funny actually. I've worked out how I want to do the sorting system and now. I'll sort them out by size, and then I, I noticed that if you kill a big slime, you get XP, so pretty much I want to have a crusher um, for just long enough to at the, at, the, at the big slime farm, I'll have, and then I'll have a medium slime farm, and then a little slime farm. And little slimes don't drop a lot of XP, so pretty much I'm gonna have the big slimer killer, and then once I kill the big slimes, um, then they'll become small slimes, uh, medium slimes, right? Well, then the medium slimes will be able to fit through some kind of gap I have, and then they'll they'll just get flushed away, I guess. And then uh, what I'll have after that is then those will go to the medium slime farm, and how the medium fa slime farm is going to work. It's going to be the same, except there's going to be nothing to flush the small slimes away, because once you kill a medium slime, it just becomes a small slime, right? And there's no, like, if I if I had to, I want all, everything to be one-shot kill, right? So if I, if I, if I have a medium slime, it's a four-shot kill, they have two hearts, a medium slime. Um, so I, I don't want to punch them four times or use a sword. So pretty much what I'm going to have to filter is, like, I, I never really get to finish what I'm saying, because my brain just thinks like that. So I'll start from the beginning, just, like... Pretty much what I want to do is I want all the mobs to be a one-shot kill. And if I want everything to be a one-shot kill, that means I have to uh, use a machine, like a crusher in this case, because they don't accidentally kill very many mobs. So I'm going to use a crusher to to kill um, to kill the big slimes. Or not to kill the big slimes, but to get the big slimes down to the lower health. And then from the lower health, the big slimes are then at. Then I can use... Uh, uh, I can use some water streams to push the medium slimes out, and those then those will go through a crusher with a different timing to make them into small slimes, which I'll kill directly. And I also have a separate kind of collection area just for small slimes. Now, I know this is extremely overkill for just slimes. Um, like it's, they're not a very important mob in the game, but if you don't go overboard with something. It's not fun. <laughs> it's pretty much how it is. I plan I'm planning on going overboard and pushing the limits of what I know for everything. Like one reason why I've been doing this slime farm is I want to make a piston elevator. Um, it's not the zipper kind. I think they broke zippers. Um, piston zippers don't work anymore. Um, so I'm not gonna use a zipper design, but I just want to use a piston elevator, the kind where it pushes the piston out and then that piston extends. I tried making one of these before, but that was really before I understood how redstone works. I've watched a lot of tutorials, I've just watched redstone guys quite a bit. I've been watching a lot of um, JL, Pressy, Panda, DocAmp, Etho. Etho's kind of more of a uh, do things off camera, you can't really... like. You, I, I have learned a lot about mob systems from Etho, but about redstone honestly 
it is really difficult to learn unless you watch a tutorial for redstone. So yeah, so this this you might be wondering why I'm making this. Ooh, I got a small slime. No, that's probably one of the original one. Oh, I got another small slime. So as you can see, the slime chunks are working, and this isn't working so well. <laughs> Looks like, but if I stand over here, they'll get up every time. Yeah. Oh, those cute little slimes. Now I have all these signs here, but I guess they'll all be facing the right direction on default. I might switch myself into creative, um, if you don't, if you guys don't mind. Um, I'll have to open it to a land world, and I'll see when a slime comes if he'll automatically be facing this direction without me me facing there. So I'll be right. No, I, I, I'm not gonna be right back. If you want to see what I do with this slime fire, I guess you're gonna have to wait till next episode because this episode is running long. It's probably the longest episode I've ever recorded of any series, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. So. Uh, if you want to catch me uh, finishing this project uh, and doing some like final tests and all that sort of jazzy stuff, I'll see. You'll have to stay tuned. I'll probably have another episode in a week or probably less than a week. I'll probably have another episode out in another two or three days. Um, I try and get two episodes out a week. Um, probably one of them or two of them is going to be this, and one of them or two of them is going to be FTB once I figure out how to how to start doing FTB again. Actually. Um, because if if you're unaware and if if, if you're wondering where FTB has gone um, recently, it's because after we upgraded to the ultimate pack, I can't play. I can't even launch FTB in the ultimate pack. And my other problem is the updated Minecraft pack. Um, we, we we haven't figured out how to downgrade, and we're probably not going to because a lot of people already have a lot of stuff from ultimate pack and stuff like that. But uh, on the on the Minecraft upgraded pack, I just keep crashing, so I'll see you guys later, hope you enjoyed, please leave a like or a comment, if you have any ideas of how I should do the sorting that are probably better than than the complicated ways I'm thinking of by using like size and all that, please, please let me know, and I'll see you guys next time.